Sarah and I, we are all over the place on social media. We are on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. There are certain comments that kind of stick out to us because we always see them. And they tend to happen on our transformation videos or, you know, I lost 100 pounds on keto, here's what I look like now. And they go something like this. What about your loose skin? Do you have loose skin? I'm afraid to start in case I have loose skin. Show us your loose skin. I bet you have a lot of loose skin. So we thought, why not talk about loose skin today? and show you all my loose skin. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're just gonna talk about it and we're going to kind of dive into what I call the loose skin paradox. So, Sarah, what do I mean by the loose skin paradox? She's pretty much saying that uh, because the end result is not going to be perfect, that why should I start at all, right? Right. I always figured that I was gonna have loose skin when I lost weight. Mainly because I've gained and lost so much weight over the years. This is not the first time I've lost 80 pounds. I've lost 80 pounds, gained 90 pounds, lost 30 pounds, gained 40 pounds. And so my body is literally like expanding and contracting Tracking. many times over the past few decades. I figured that I was not going to be a taut Victoria's Secret supermodel at the end of this. But in the back of my mind, I always figured that that would be something that I would worry about then, not now. Because even if I did lose the weight, there are things that you could do potentially to get rid of the loose skin. But I didn't honestly notice my loose skin until I got to a normal body weight. And then I was like, ew, like that is not appealing to me. But neither was being 262 pounds. You know what I'm saying? I felt this way about stretch marks. I would see myself in the mirror and I would see stretch marks on my arms or on my thighs or whatever. And I'd be like, I can't wear a skirt or a bikini, like I would actually do that. Sometimes I feel like, is there a point trying to be on this diet all the time? So I, in the past, have thought this and I've gone up and down the scale. Like Emily said earlier, I have also lost a significant amount of weight. This is not my first time losing it. And every time I would get down, I'd still feel like I wasn't going to ever reach this perfection. But now as I've gotten older, I feel like I've accepted that I will never be a Victoria's Secret model. Doesn't mean that losing the weight and being healthier hasn't made me happy because it has. So very quickly, we are gonna go over over some things that we've heard help with loose skin. First of all, there's surgery, which I'm terrified of. <laughs> there's Same. that. But even then, I do believe that you need to get down to a certain level before they'll even consider surgery for you. Like they pinch it and stuff. I'm scared of that, not gonna lie. I've never actually been in a hospital for more than I used to work in a hospital, but I've never been in a hospital as a patient. And so the thought of that it's gonna be a no for now. <laughs> Secondly, there are different machines that like do ultra bonic whatevering on you called uh, New Body, New Face. They come with some kind of cream. I've heard that could help. Um, haven't tried it, but we were thinking maybe of buying it and then doing like a test, but then I would have to show you guys my loose skin, which I am <laughs> not comfortable with. The third option is fasting. Every single time I post about loose skin, someone comments or 50 of you comment that fasting supposedly works to help loose skin. So maybe try fasting. I do not think intermittent fasting does it. I think you need to do extended fasts for 72 hours or even a week. Maybe possibly see the benefit of this. And that brings us to the sponsor of this video, Element. So today we are sipping on the orange flavor, which is an orange salt flavor. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element is formulated to help anybody with their electrolyte needs, including people on a keto diet or people who are fasting. So if I was going to attempt a fast for 72 hours, I would consume only water and element electrolytes for that 72 hours because I believe that it would help me mm -hmm. um, get through it. So many of you guys ordering your sample pack and getting it super quick. We are so excited that you like it. Sarah and my favorite flavor is the citrus salt. We also really, really like the orange one and we really like the watermelon one too. And we also like the spicy one. So basically we like all the flavors, but the citrus salt is our absolute favorite. I just feel like it quenches my thirst and it helps us drink more water yeah. honestly because we are not really good water drinkers we're terrible. we're terrible at it i really enjoy element i fill my glass i sprinkle some in and i'll have multiple glasses of water and sometimes i hardly drink any water it's terrible it's really bad so i feel like i've definitely upped my water intake by having element 
to make it taste really good. And for a limited time, our Keto Twins community can get a free sample pack. All you have to do is pay for shipping. Just click the link below. So we can't wait for more of you to try it and absolutely love it. So back to what we were talking about, about loose skin and the loose skin paradox that I like to call it. Sarah and I, we do have loose skin, but we don't think that loose skin is a good enough excuse to not try keto to lose weight. It's just not. It's one of those things that you're making up in your head to justify not ever changing your life because you're afraid that when you do get there, it's not going to be as awesome as you think it's going to be. I think that we put these barriers in front of things when we're scared of doing them. Like, oh, what's the point if I put all this effort in to lose weight and at the end of it, I still am ugly because I have loose skin. Yeah. Well, what about being able to get up and move around? What about being healthier? Wear a shirt wear pants. Who cares? Like I personally still cover up a lot. I, that's just life. I don't know if I ever had that type of mentality just because I grew up always big and self-conscious. Therefore it can't get worse than it is now because I've been self-conscious ever since I was 13. I never got to experience what it felt like to be in a bikini on a beach and feel good about it. Like that always seemed horrifying to me. But honestly, I feel like very few people feel that way. I mean, maybe, but I feel like if you, maybe if you grew up and you were perfect and you didn't have a mark on you until you were 25 and then you started gaining weight, you might think different than someone in my scenario where I'm just trying to look better than I did 10 years ago, five years ago. I have never experienced that level of perfection in the way that I look, that I have these unrealistic expectations of myself, I think. I've just accepted the fact that that is just a part of my life and now I can move on to think about other things. Like I'll wear a shirt, I'll wear a long dress, but you know what, when I do go to the beach, I won't be sweating bullets anymore. When I go to the beach, I won't be embarrassed that I can't keep up walking along the beach with my husband. Those are all positive aspects. Don't let the thought of loose skin stop you from trying to lose weight and using that excuse because it's just an excuse. It's not real. You shouldn't even be thinking about that right now. Like worry about I that later. I think a lot of people want some excuse to start. They're looking for an excuse, you're right, not to start or to say what's, what's the use? The use is, is that you're going to feel a thousand times better than you did before, even if you do have some loose skin or some dimples on your butt. I'm not ideally what I would want to be, but sometimes you have to like live in this reality. Do I feel better than I did before? Sure. Is it rude of people to ask me to show everything so that they can then determine if losing weight is right for them? Yeah. Was I curious about it when I was looking up keto a long time ago? Yeah, I was. I won't lie. But to me, it was always like, well, what are the possibilities? Could I end up that way? I was never using it as an excuse not to start. If you think that this is going to be the excuse that you need to start, then you're not ready to start keto because at a certain point, you're going to be like, I can't do this anymore. I have to. Even if I have loose skin, I still have to do it anyway. Oh, well. Life is a lot better now than it was before. And maybe we should just be happy with that. Not everything is a vanity thing. I accept that this is the reality of my situation because I spent most of my life eating so much that my skin literally could not expand anymore. Therefore, it had to create new skin in order to keep up with how fast I was expanding. That loose skin, it may go yeah. away a little bit with fasting and zapping it, and but it's never gonna fully go away unless you cut it off. So, well, that's like fat cells. I've heard that you never really get rid of fat cells, they shrink. So that's why they're it's so ready easy. Waiting. They're just <laughs> like, you know, when you lose weight, your fat cells go there, but they're still there. They're just smaller. And then when you start eating again, your body's like, oop, it's like an evolutionary trait. It's supposed to keep you alive for longer right. during times when there are no food. So guess what? The salt is still there. It was created to hold fat and it's going to be waiting there whenever you have excess to put it back in there. And that's just how it is. Same thing with skin cells. They just don't magically go away. Sure, like autophagy might help with skin cell turnover and things like that. I don't think it's going to be able to get rid of like inches of loose right. skin. Or Maybe pounds some. of it. There are people that work out and put muscle back. That's like, the thought. Emily was like, when she reached her 160 pounds or so, she was like, I'm still not happy. I'm like smaller, but I now have loose skin. Maybe there's working out and putting muscle back so that maybe it's not fat, but it's like it, it fills the yeah. back in with muscle. With a nice shape, with a nicer with, shape. Right, right. There are options, but you have to kind of come to terms with the fact that you kind of like screwed it up. A little bit. You're wearing your mistake right now. It's like if you don't keep on it, you can fill that back up. And I just think that that there are people that get surgery because their skin bothers them, right? Right. right. There are people that have such there's loose nothing skin wrong that's with like that. rubbing and things like that. For us, that is not a problem for us. No. At this point, 
we don't have enough loose skin to like it be irritating us. Some people have loose skin where it will like fold over yeah, overlap. and, and yeah. underneath will get raw and stuff like that. Sarah and I, at the most we have like crepe, like a little crepiness. Like it's, it's a little loose there, which right. is not that terrible considering, you know, we've lost a hundred pounds, but also Sarah and I are five foot 11. But you know what? If it was really medically necessary, sure I would do it. Loose skin is not ideal, but neither is being morbidly obese. So you have to choose. Worry about that when you get there. One of the ways that you can get over the mentality of not wanting to start keto because of the loose skin is to think about how you feel right now. Are you confident? Do you feel good when you take pictures? When you're going out, do you feel like everyone's looking at you because you're overweight? All of these different factors. And then when you do lose the weight, you can think back and be like, I feel much healthier. I look better in pictures. You can think back to when you're bigger and say that it was still worth it in the end. And if you think, you know what? I would be happier if I lost the weight, regardless if I have loose skin. You can think about that and say, and write out a list. What are the pros and what are the cons? What are the pros of losing weight with keto? Write them down. And then at the, on the other side here, the negative, it only says loose skin. What column are you gonna choose? Obviously there's more pros, but you're, you're just fixated on this idea of maybe possibly having loose skin. And if you do end up having loose skin at the end of your journey, you can have surgery to help you with that. Yeah, start saving up and be like, you know what? I'm not gonna be happy unless I have the surgery. Don't worry about that now. You're just, you haven't even started yet. Why are you thinking about the negative end result of all the things that you're gonna have to do and all the things that you're gonna have to sacrifice to get there? You're trying to make a narrative that why even bother? It's not gonna turn out the way I want anyway. So therefore the whole thing is not worth it. Even though in your heart you know that this is the best thing for you to do is to lose weight for you, for your family, for your health, and you have loose skin at the end of it, so be it. Life is not over if you have loose skin. You know what could end your life? Being morbidly obese. Don't think about loose skin now. Worry about that when you get there. And no, we're not going to show you our loose skin. And I wear pants and I wear long skirts and I wear gowns and stuff like that. And I feel better. I don't need to be perfect to feel better. Life is not about being perfect. We always say there's more to life than food. Well, there's more to life than being perfect looking. So why don't you let us know in the comments if the thought of loose skin stopped you from trying to lose weight. And if you have lost the weight, does it bother you as much as you thought it would? And are you gonna get it removed or are you fine with it? We would love to hear about your loose skin experiences in the comments below. If more people talk about loose skin and that they have it and it's okay that their life move on, maybe it would convince others that it's not something that you should worry about in the beginning. It of your shouldn't journey. stop you from starting. And if you like this type of content, please give this video a like. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm so new people will see our videos. And if you want to see other videos from us, you can click on one of the videos on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto Twins, signing out.